Hello and welcome to the Style DNA Model Tutorial. In this video I will be covering the assembly and use of the 3D printed DNA nucleotide model. The model consists of four different types of nucleotide base pieces structured as textured cylinders with text and braille labels, as well as cantilever clips on one end and tab or slot fixtures embedded with magnets on the other end. The text and braille labels are shown here for A, T, G, and C. Each nucleotide has its own unique texture on the outside to help students identify which it is if they are unable to read braille or are having difficulty with identifying based on the embossed text letter. The magnets embedded in the tab and slot pieces were locked in place using superglue. Additionally, there are box-like backbone parts with slots to fit the cantilever clips along with two socket holes for the final part, a connecting piece with ball ends to fit into the sockets of the backbone pieces. To assemble the model, first insert the cantilever clips from one nucleotide into one of the backbone pieces until it clicks into place. Next insert one of the ball joints into a socket on the same backbone piece. This will allow you to attach additional backbone components in a chain along with the nucleotide pieces. Create a second backbone structure and attach the corresponding nucleotides in the same order as from the first backbone piece. A will match up with T and G will match up with C. Once both strands of the DNA molecule have been produced, they can be attached together using the tab and slot connectors between each nucleotide pair. If a large enough number of each nucleotide pair along with requisite connector pieces are printed, the model can be twisted to show the double helix structure of DNA and untwisted to show the process of separating the strands of DNA during replication or transcription. Once the model is assembled, students can observe the strands either straightened out or twisted into a double helix pattern. It is important to note here that the model can twist either clockwise or counterclockwise due to its shape, but in reality, DNA only twists in the counterclockwise direction. Also of note, the style model does not show the major and minor grooves generated by the double helix in real DNA. The model can be used to help students identify the correct complementary nucleotides for a given sequence of DNA as well. Using the assembly method described previously, students can produce DNA models based on any given sequence of DNA provided. For example, the sequence ATCGAC can be produced initially by assembling those pieces. Then its complementary strand TAGCTG can be produced to complete the model as shown here. The model also allows for simulating zipping and unzipping of the DNA strands. If enough pieces are printed, it would be possible to simulate DNA polymerase reading and producing mRNA, which we have not modeled, but may be a future project for the lab. Thanks for watching the Style DNA Model tutorial. We hope this model will be helpful for exploring DNA and its structure. As always, links to the model's STL files and a sample lesson plan are in the video description.